So it's 2022 uh, and I've arrived at Milton Keynes for PDCQ school. Um, second year of doing this, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I actually watched the video last night um, of, of last year. It was really interesting. Um, unfortunately, this year my prep hasn't gone too well leading up to it. Um, I got COVID just, just after Christmas, so um, I was lucky to be able to go, to be honest. Um, and I was lucky I sort of improved and sort of take it tested negative just before and stuff like that um you know but it really whacked me out so i, I haven't really done anywhere near the sort of practice i'd want to do i've done a couple of sessions the last couple of days you know and, but other than that i haven't really done anything you know practice wise the last few weeks so um other than one one or two sessions so you know just haven't had the energy but yeah it's whacked me out a little bit but i'm looking forward to see how we go and uh yeah seeing what we can do so uh, obviously this year um, I'm hoping that I can go and win my first game at Q School you know I've, I've won a game was on the challenge tour and stuff like that um, but last year I yeah I, di I didn't win any games um, I mean there's only three but again I didn't actually win any I got some I got some legs which was again a target in itself for last year for me but but with all the match experience I've got from this year and the amount of hours I've done and stuff like that I feel as much as I haven't practiced I'm not playing at my best lately I know I've got the game in there to be able to dig deep and draw upon. Um, yeah, and really, you know, depending on who I'm playing and who I'm up against, I'm, I'm going to give them a battle wherever I'm doing. So, um, unless I have a, a mare and don't play very well, but, you know, I know how I'm going to play roughly. So, um, we'll see what we can do and, and, and see what we can bring to the table. But, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if I can give you guys an idea of what, what's going on behind the scenes. I can't... I can't um, filming the venue itself and which is annoying you're not allowed to unfortunately with the pdc rules um but you know i will tell you as much as what i can going on there one thing i've definitely learned already um from obviously last year is you know come up here nice and early um you know dro drove up here early just again save saving money on a hotel overnight you know if you if you have to travel more than say two and a half three hours i would always say you know you're better off you know uh, sleeping overnight and stuff like that but if, you, if you've been not that far it's always worth doing just because you can get on nice and early get fresh for the day i'm gonna go have some breakfast in the hotel anyway um yeah see what we can do you know another thing i've i've learned from over the last year is that you know you really it's really worth going to something like this if you want to take it serious more seriously and go to the next level this is where you've got to be you know i'm not coming here here to necessarily get my tour card i know it sounds silly but for me, the standard I believe you've got to be at to be able to get that tour card, um, I'm not quite there yet, you know. Um, I can play it sometimes, but but realistically, am I going to play a 95, 90 plus for, for, for a week? No, um, it's not going to happen. So, and, and, and in my view, you've got to really be playing at least 85, nearly every match, um, to, to, to get that card, in my view. It'd be interesting to see what happens this year, but realistically that that's where you're at or you're extremely lucky but i don't think that's realistic for me personally especially without the practice i've not had in the last few weeks um but i am gonna really use it to test myself see what i can do this year see if i can improve my main aim is to improve on last year um despite us not being well prepared so come in here with the match practice i've had all year and and yeah really seeing what we can do so we'll see how we go um and yeah onwards and upwards so good to be back, mate. Milton King's breakfast. You could come here just for this. Day one of PDCQ school. Um, yeah, you, you guessed it. You know where I am. Back in the hotel room. Um, I. How did that go for me? Um, I think I, I felt like I lost focus a bit at points in the match, which I don't know exactly why that was. I just was doing a couple of things that I don't feel like I normally do. Um, maybe. Lack, lack of practice lately, um, maybe not preparing properly. Not not quite sure to be honest, but there were points that were as good. Starting with a 17 data, um, felt like I had a little bit of flow going, but then I just sort of I was dragging ones, you know, very very slightly, just dragging ones and fives who landed on the same place pretty much every time, and I just couldn't quite get the adjustment. But hit a 180, there was a couple of legs where I felt like I was just in the flow, which I need to get more of, um, where I hit a treble every single throw. Um, I think there was two legs that did that, which. I was in the match, played a played a better player at the end of the day. Um, but I was I was in the hunt. I lost five three. Um, you know, 
not playing not playing my best, which I, I, I had chances there, you know. Um, I didn't take where I needed to, um, so that's what I'll have to be build on tomorrow. But yeah, again, you know, it's it's a early start for me. There's there's a you know it's not been a great preparation. I'm happy with as much as I've lost. <laughs> it hurts. Um, I'm happy with the. Uh, some of the elements that I've played. I played some good shots in the match. Um, there were some good points in it. I was unlucky on a couple of pieces as well, you know. You guys wouldn't have seen it, but on one of them, um, hit a treble every single throw and then and then went to take out on 36. And the first start went in double one by a millimetre. And then, you know, that, 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 that leg went downhill quite quickly. Um, and then, yeah, and then on and another one when I was starting to get in the flow, you know, got a got a bounce out, then then a Robin, Robin Hood on the same time. Um, you know, going for a, ended up with a sixty when it should have been really potentially one eighty. But little things like that just didn't go right for me in the match. Um, and playing against someone who averaged around the eighty mark, I can't really complain too much. You know, I've got to be on my, my top game to be beating these sort of people. So hopefully tomorrow I can have a better day. Um, you know, I don't really want a, a particularly easy draw. There's no point in that for me. I want someone at a similar sort of level to me and. Um, you know, just to test me and hopefully I can uh, come good tomorrow and, and throw some better shots. But yeah, day one, out. Um, but then there's some big play play players I know that's gone out already, you know. Three times world champions gone out, you know, John Parr. Um, some other people I know have really, really good players gone out first round. So, you know, it's one of them things, you know. Unfortunately, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So onwards and upwards, I'll get some rest and uh, yeah, we'll go again tomorrow, see what we can do. So it's the start of day two at Q School, PDC Q School 2022. Um, I, yeah, just doing a little update really how I feel today. Um, I feel I feel really good actually. Um, I've, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I've tried it before and it sort of seemed to have worked well. Um, just when I when I sometimes get up in the morning, I've, uh, I don't have um, breakfast if I used to train and things like that. And, and sometimes it gives you a bit of a, an edge. I don't know whether it's being a bit hangry sometimes when it gets a little bit later in the day. Um, usually eat before 12, but we played by the first match by then. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try that. Have a look, I've had a little coffee, so just see if it gives me a little bit of an edge, a little bit more uh, a little bit more aggression, sort of going for shots and stuff. So we'll see. It might completely backfire, but this is what these sort of things are for, so you can try stuff out and see how you are under pressure. Um, but I'm, I'm really looking forward today. I'm really fired up. Um, you know, I haven't got any sort of pains or aches or, you know, I've had a decent night's sleep. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling good. You know, I had uh, last night I had a... Had a little drink, um, you know, last night just to socialise a few people and yeah, and just catch up with a few people, pick some, pick some brains as I always do. Um, and it was really interesting chatting to some people, you know, from from different backgrounds and some really experienced people. So it was, uh, you know, one of the things I was, I was sort of talking to someone about is, you know, they were saying about, you know, what what sort of makes a good player and stuff like that and, and what the, the keys are to, to trying to do what I'm doing, you know, and, and people sort of got different in opinions and people, some people think it takes talent and, you know, uh, and some people don't. And, and my personal view is it's more about the, the dedication and quality of practice th than anything else. But, you know, a lot of people are adamant the fact that it does take some form of talent, even if that is the case of, you know, it's you're, you're super dedicated, uh, you know, you could analyze this stuff, you know, whatever that may be, which there may be some truth in it, but, um, you know, it's, for, for me, it just really motivated me more than anything else, just to really, you know, after Q score and stuff like that, just really just get on that board, hit it hard again, um, and just, yeah, just go after it, really. You know, I really want to be here next year. Um, and, and on the challenge tour really taking some wins. I don't want to be sitting here thinking, oh, you know, I hope I win today or I want to be going knowing I'm going to win matches, you know. Um, I know to a certain opponent I'll probably win matches if there's if there's a certain sort of standard, but oh, I want to be knowing I'm going to beat someone like I, I played yesterday, you know, that, that my B game is, is already at that, that sort of, you know, that 80 sort of 75 mark worst case, you know, not the... You know, hope we play that and and that sort of thing. So yeah, it was it was interesting talking to people who have, you know, been there, done it. You know, I was sitting all day with people who have had their tour cards, and yeah, it was great to see. And it's amazing the amount of people that have been on the tour and 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 sort of dropped off the tour and then come back on and you know still fighting away and and sitting there going you know going through the motions. You know, I think the real key, what I or learn all the time when I go to these sort of events is the people here. You know. The difference between them now and when they was on the tour is is really stuff going on in their life, their mindset, and and really putting the, the time and effort in to, to to push forward and play at the top level. And it can be something very sim, very little with their 
technique, you know, we're talking about one player who was, you know, on top of everything on the Pro Tour and then all of a sudden he's, he's dropped back, but a little bit of a, a shift in mindset and, and then a, a little tiny change in his throw, you know, sometimes can, can affect it. So, but for me today, you know, still learning, still always picking people's brains and, and, and you know, always learning anything I can. Um, so it's about seeing what we can do today. You know, my main aim is just trying to trying to get a win under my belt, you know, trying to play some good shots, you know, just trying to get a win. I'm not going to try too hard. I'm just going to give it everything I've got and uh, and go after it. Thanks for all the support messages. You know, it's great seeing them all on the, on the channels, um, you know, and, and it still means so much to me as much as it did the first time around, you know. So it's, uh, if anything, more, you know, because I want to want to put on a good show and stuff like that. But I can't let it get a... Can't let it get ahead of me, and, and I've got to just um, yeah do what I've got to do, and yeah see if we can get some good shots at the board, and, and see what we can do today. So I will update you, and hopefully I'm not sitting back here too early, and I can do an, a video where I've maybe uh, got a bit further down the line. So we see how we go. Now a quick note: um, if you ever go to Q School or even the Challenge Tour, what you learn quite quickly, in my view, is that um, don't go down there too early. Um, there's more than enough time to practice. And you don't want to practice yourself out. Um, I started used to get down there really early, and then realise you'd be a bit tired. Um, whereas you know you can go there if it starts. If the registration closes at ten, you can go there at like half nine, and you'll still have an hour and a half, two hours practice if you really wanted to. You know, where sometimes if you're waiting around for like two and a half, three hours, you just get a bit despondent. So just a quick one if you ever go. So, first game of Q School, first game I've won, can't believe it. I, to be honest, it's uh, a bit bittersweet because the uh, good old friend, the darts referee, we didn't play well at all. Um, I'm amazed I won, to be honest. It was just one of them, grinded it out. But, you know, I've got a live vi video here with stream with, with Jack Langston, the right, darts referee. Right, right, no. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I could have had that's the worst draw in the history of darts, but... I thought you had a good draw. The way I was playing, my, my guy, my guy, he was better than me. I was rubbish. You were rubbish as well, but you were better than me. Mate, so. you know, 86 on the ball. Yeah, that was that was it. That was it. You missed that, you lose. Mate. You missed that, you lose. But he's, he's going to come back tomorrow. He's going to get that W under his belt. We'll see. I'll tell you what, four, four legs, I'm happy. I'm happy with four, with four legs over two days. I'm more than happy with that. Come on. Hold well on, mate. So, day two of PDCQ school comes to a close. Um... I won a game, <laughs> um, so I, I hit my target really you know, for this year. I wanted to play a bit better, but I, being totally fair, I, I just I felt tired all day. I felt really um, not from not from playing or anything like that. Just the I think the COVID before I come in has really sort of whacked me out. To be honest, I don't feel I feel I've had a headache all day. Uh, concentration's not very good. I, I have no confidence going for doubles, you know, today um, at all. Which is you know I know I've hit some stuff and I took out a. 86 on the ball, hit a couple of 180s, but I just don't feel like my normal game. I don't feel like I'm I'm really in the flow. You know, the, the game I've just lost, uh, I think it was the last one two eight uh, against a good decent player, Lee Budgeons. Um, it just it was just so twitchy, just so just not flying with the doubles. I, but I missed a there was a big point in the match where I missed a, uh, a 156 on the double 18 on the wire, which was unlucky. But you know, it just wasn't. It wasn't good enough, it was just too inconsistent, you know. I was down to a double on nearly every one and missing double. So for me, that's not something I normally do. And I, I can, all I can put it down to is, um, the first game I was really nervous playing against Jack, um, because I know him and obviously, you know, I know he's got the screen and, and, and I know him really well. It's, it, it really put me off. And I, put, I know it put him off as well, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just really weird playing someone who you know really well and you know, you know, the YouTube thing is sometimes a bit of pressure, but it, not really, you know, but when you're both doing it together, you know, people putting on Twitter in mean, the, the YouTube duel and stuff like that, it's just funny. Um, but it, uh, yeah, I was definitely on my head in that game. But I won, so a win's a win, you've got to take it. Um, and, and on a normal day, I would hope to have won my next match as well. So it gives me confidence, which is what I wanted to come here and do, not, as I say, not get a good tour card. I know I'm not in the right form at the moment, but to hit decent scores, there was legs where I was hitting, you know, decent, decent, decent scores, and I just, I've just really got to just pull it all together. I mean, hopefully I can have a better day tomorrow, and I feel a bit better. I'm gonna try and get a, an early night tonight and just sort of rest up. But 
yeah, I don't think I'm going to be well for you know another another couple of weeks. Hopefully, you know, just because I just feel really tight, just drained. Um, what's really interesting to me is from going from now to, to this year is I expect more um, in terms of scoring. You know, when I'm not scoring even that well, I expect to to be hitting more. You know, I expect to take out big finishes, and I'm not really doing that. So I'm not playing my normal game, which I knew I might not, but. The difference is last year I was surprised when I did hit anything. You know, I was surprised that if I did hit a, a 140 or whatever, whereas now I expect that of myself. Which, um, and the biggest thing as well is this year I know a lot more people this year. It's a lot more, um, it's a bit more relaxed, you know, for me personally. It's not all new. I know what to expect. I, I get, I'm getting the timing right a bit better, you know, which is, which is helping in terms of practicing and then going to the board. I'm knowing what's going on. So it all feels a little bit more comfortable. I'm, I'm a bit gutted I'm not playing a bit better, but again, it was to be expected, you know, a, a few a few days before, I wasn't even gonna attend Q School this year, just because of obviously of quarantine and stuff like that. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with how it's going. It could be going a lot better. Hopefully uh, another day at it tomorrow, but I've got, I've got a point. So, you know, I can't complain that much, you know. Uh, last year I didn't have any points, um, so we'll see how we do tomorrow. Maybe we can get on a bit of a run on the last day, and uh, yeah, just see if we can play some play some good shots again. Really, um, my arm is not. I'm not feel. I don't feel physically tired at all uh, in terms of like you know compared to last year. At this point, my arm was in pieces. You know, it's not. If anything, it could. You know, I might do a bit more practice tomorrow and get it even even warmer. You know, um, so it, yeah, it's it's interesting to see the difference and transformation. Um, it definitely gives me a lot of goals going forward, you know, really much makes me, I think I'll, I'll have a good chance next year to really get through to the, you know, the final stage and hopefully prepare better next year coming into it. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been an interesting experience so far. Um, it's great to come here again, you know, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Challenge Tour because I, I expect to be able to, once I hit back, back to my, my proper form again, I, I expect to hopefully get a few more wins on the Challenge Tour this year and hopefully get some prize money behind me. Not a lot, but you know get 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 the ball rolling in that sense you know so yeah it's go, going all right could go better but a win today i'll take that and uh yeah i'll, I'll let you know we get on tomorrow so, here we are day three um it's just the morning of the uh yeah last well the last half q school uh 2022 um it could it might not be the last day but for me it is you know regardless of if i've got some points today and got through um I'm sitting on one point i think i need about three or four which is you know a couple of wins um but I, I'm not in a position where I'm, one, I'm not playing well enough, um, and two, um, I've got work for it, which I can't really get out of, which I kind of knew coming into Q School. Um, so for me, it's, it's a bit bittersweet because even if I got through, I know I wouldn't be able to go on the, you know, the next four days, um, unfortunately, but I, I still would like to get the wins, you know, I'd like to be able to um, know that, you know, I can get through that first stage, you know, it, it may be a case of I, I don't anyway, but again, you know, it's just for me, it's, it'd be nice to get to that stage, you know, just to just to know I can do it. But yeah, this will be my last day today regardless. So I just want to give it everything I've got left, you know, and, and uh, yeah, see what we could do today, really. Um, you know, I had really bad headaches yesterday. I was still not, um, you know, fully fighting fit, you know, as much as a, a negative for corona and, and, and still it's still affecting me you know a bit longer term so hopefully that doesn't last too long um but yeah I'm, i mean i enjoyed what i've done coming here um you know win under my belt i'd like to get another couple of wins today um see what we can do i'm just not in the the right sort of form and and my my view on q school is you know doing it twice now i mean i'm on the same amount of points after two days as you know three times world champion um you know Fallon Sherrick, um, you know, plenty of really good players, and obviously they're better than what I am, but it just shows how difficult Goose Go actually is, um, and, and you do need a little bit of luck on your side. Um, it's harder than it used to be, in my view, as well, where you've got the, 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 day, the, the days and then it goes into the split of the days, um, four days after, but it's, it's still tough, you know, even with a, a good draw, you you still got a really good grind out of the wins, and, You've got, to, in my view, unless you get lucky with a draw, you've got to be playing to get to get to the next stage. You've got to be realistically playing, you know, around around the 85 mark, roughly 85, 80 to 85, to get have a good chance of getting getting through. Um, I think if you're less than that, you're just hoping for a good draw, which again, you know, I didn't get last year at all. Um, 
but you know it's a case of I've not got a bad draw this year I just haven't played that well um, and I've got a win so it depends on what happens today but yeah it, for me getting to the next stage is is not the most difficult part it's, it's actually going on and beating all really really great players ex-tour pros there's so many here ex-tour card players and, and uh, you know fantastic, fantastic players that will average 90 I mean someone lost with a 5-0 uh, five nil yesterday, like averaging ninety five. So it's yeah, it's crazy. Um, you know, so it's just one of them things that you you know I'm coming for experience. I'm coming to learn to get on the challenge tour to keep pushing forward. And and you've got to be honest with yourself and say, look, I'm, I know I'm not ready yet. Um, as much as I fancy it when I'm playing, I know I'm not at the standard where I need to be yet to to go and get that card. It's learn, learning, seeing what others are doing. You know, learning, pushing harder, and, and just getting that big motivation. So. Um, yeah, day day three of Q School. Um, I've been enjoying it, but um, yeah, we'll see what results we can get today. You know, see see how things come out and see how we can play today. That'd be the main thing. I'd like to play a bit more like my normal game. Um, I haven't played it here at all, so hoping that I feel a bit better and uh, yeah, get on with it today. Now, if you stay in Milton Keynes and you stay in the Double Tree, just remember sometimes they lock the restaurant door at one side, so. Don't get caught out because you'll have to walk the whole way pretty much one down one side of the stadium to actually get out so just a note to self so that's what i'm doing now so that was interesting um honestly thought i was going to get beat five nil with that match and the way i was playing on the practice board was absolutely terrible um, and i just went out thought you know what i'm just gonna um just throw and see what happens and i threw him one five nil against a decent player um tavis dudney was i know he's a good player i know he didn't play his best but i just i think i just punished him early and just yeah just kept on him really um not still not i didn't play that great but i just grinded <laughs> grinded out another win so two points that'll do me i'm happy with that so we we'll see how we go in the next one but i'm um, to be honest i'm over the moon i just wanted a game coming here and just grinding one out and I've done that, you know, with what I would someone similar standard to me, who, you know, maybe even better, I don't know. Um, but yeah, all come good. Another win. So we've got a special treat on this video. We've actually got um, behind the scenes access to having a look at the setup here. So I just wanted to show you guys what it's like um, in the PDC setup. So it's pretty. It's pretty good, you know, all the boards are changed really regularly. Um, they've got the unicorn clips ultra on there, and they have the, the iPad, you have the scorer that does the marking for you on Q School for every game this year. So it was pretty uh, pretty special and every one of them's bang on, you know. So it's it's pretty it's pretty special, you know, and they're all literally identical, so there's no uh, there's no expense spared in the PDC in the Q School. So even if you are of a lower average doesn't matter because you're going to go up a little bit on average with a great setup like that. So that was PDC Q School 2022. That's the end of the, the journey for me. Uh, day day three was uh, it was difficult. I just uh, I've not felt myself the whole sort of tournament to be honest. Um, but there was still positive to take from it. You know, I've I finished on two points, um, not a terrible uh, leg difference, um, and and really, you know, I, I gave myself some some chances here and there, but I just didn't play well enough overall. I knew I wasn't going to, you know, this this time. Uh, a week and a half ago I, was, I couldn't get my head off the pillow so to be honest coming here with not any practice sort of out of form um, and having you know COVID at Christmas I can't really complain you know it's still affecting me quite a lot you know I've got two points if when you look through the list of uh, you know some of the people who didn't even get two points is is crazy you know and um, people coming here losing 5 nil with 95 averages and stuff like that it's you just got to play the person you're playing against but there is a big gap between um you know the top tier and and the, and the bottom tier you know and there and, and that's at the end of the day you can only play what's in front of you um 
yeah, and, and and it's a great experience. You know, I've got some um, you know really really good things I've learned from last year. I'm a very different player, although I didn't really show my anywhere near what my best is. Um, there's still elements in there that I can um, take some confidence from. You know, um, it's just in my view the biggest thing I've learned is you've got to be going into a tournament with with confidence and and, and prepare well. Um, otherwise, it will affect you quite a lot, which it has done for me. But you know, in a year, you can. I mean, one more, one more good win, and and I potentially get through to the final stage. So, I mean, those people went through. One person went through three points. So, you know, it's possible. It's not that far away. And I, and I fancy myself in good. If I was in good form coming in, then then I hopefully would would expect it to have got a bit further. But um, yeah, two two points more than last year. Um, you know, a couple of wins. I didn't win a game last year, so I can't really complain. I'm, I'm happy with, you know, as as good as it can be. I'm happy with that, and it's just been a great experience going there this year, knowing more people. Um, I was really uh, happy to the PDC. Thanks for letting me uh, just film a little bit behind the scenes there. You know, that was a great, uh, a great thing to be able to do to show you guys a little bit like what it's actually like. Um, you know, and and and, and yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a great experience. Every 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 time I come here, I, I love it. You know, for I'm really looking forward to the challenge tour because hopefully I can get a get a bit get a bit better and uh, you know just improve my health back to back to normal soon. And, and yeah, just just get back on the practice board and, and see what we can do uh, in the challenge tour. You know, it gives me a lot of confidence going forward. So um, yeah, I hope you hope you enjoy the the video. Um, and, and uh, it's all going in the right direction as much as we can hopefully play a bit better the next the next couple of challenge tours but listen that this is what it's all about it's about a, a journey and, and thanks for everyone who's come up to me today and uh, over the last few days that you know I've met new people just from the YouTube and stuff um, people coming up to me talking about the video so I'm gonna keep doing them I uh, hope you like them and uh, yeah I hope to see you all see you all soon